Smoking equipment sold to kids. It's not something you'd think was an issue, but Terre Haute City Council members say they've seen it happen all too often. So they wanted to do something about it, but preliminary plans had some business owners crying foul. News 10's Ron Joe Moore is in the studio tonight to join us. Ron Joe, what's the issue with this plan? Well, Mike Patrice, it's obviously a big no-no for anyone to sell tobacco to kids, but what about equipment like pipes and wrappers? Well, that's all a part of the plan, and it's a little bit harder to enforce, so some tobacco shops want to make sure they're not falling into a bad category. You walk into Smoke and Peace, and you don't have to guess what their specialty is. Smoking equipment, pipes, incense, and other things. Not exactly kid friendly, but they've never claimed to be. It's hard to miss the huge sign on the front door. You could be 99 years old and my best friend. You don't have your ID, I'm sorry, I can't sell you anything. But here's the problem. Other places not tobacco specific also sell those items. Places like certain gas stations. They don't card at the door. And in times past, kids have gotten things they shouldn't have. All that does is help those young people uh, ingest either marijuana or this new synthetic drugs that are out there uh, or plain tobacco. So the Beagle County Drug Task Force proposed an ordinance. Its goal is to put tighter regulations on places that sell tobacco equipment, places like Smoke and Peace. It would label them as an adult-oriented business. Well, Pete Wilson says that's not quite right. Because it would have thrown us into a category with, you know, adult entertainment. Under that title, they'd have to change their inventory, and technically, they wouldn't be zoned to be where they are. So unless they're grandfathered in, they potentially have to close. That's when he started working with the task force and the city council. There, they came up with this, a new draft. Basically, looked at it from the standpoint of how do we reinforce the laws of the state? You know, put a little bit more teeth to it locally so it can be enforced better locally. That new draft also allows authorities more space to inspect any store that sells tobacco equipment, but it doesn't change what they can sell, essentially leaving them free to, well, just read the sign. Again, all this legislation is still in draft form. The earliest it could be voted on would be in October. Mike Patrice, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Ron Visit WTHITV.com for extended interviews and reaction about this story.